Hi, I'm Eric Haura. I'm the director of the Comprehensive Lung Cancer Research Center at the H. Lee Moffitt Cancer Center. I'm here today to talk to you about personalized medicine approaches for the treatment of advanced lung cancer. I'd like to welcome you to our research laboratories. So what's the yield of this new uh, molecular medicine approach? Well, one study that was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology about a year ago took the old approach and just used um, standard approaches for the treatment of cancer and enrolled about a thousand patients on a clinical trial with a new drug and came up empty. Conversely, there was a very exciting article that was reported in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2010 that actually looked for a particular genetic change in cancers and gave patients drugs that overcame that genetic change. And in this study, people miraculously had amazing responses to a pill-based treatment. This is really the goals of personalized cancer medicine. Let me give you some other analogies. So sometimes when you go buy computers, they all look the same. They have a keyboard, they have a screen, they have a computer. But I think we realize now that they can have very different properties, different chip speeds, um, different types of software. They can perform differently. This is the same thing with cancers. They can look the same under a microscope, but they have very different characteristics. So our goal is to use these underlying principles of the molecular underpinnings of cancer to guide how we screen for patients for uh, early stage lung cancer that can be cured, how we can appropriately prevent lung cancer, how we can optimize treatment decisions for patients that have had surgery, or how we can treat people with advanced lung cancers. Why is personalized medicine important? Well, we need to develop cocktails of different drugs that are effective for each individual's cancer. We want to give drugs and treatments that are effective for patients. It's frustrating to give people medicines that fail and result in their death or their cancer growing. It's also a frustration to give people medicines that are at times toxic when they don't work well. There's also an issue of cost for us now. These medicines are ex exceedingly expensive and they're a burden both for families and patients as well as society in general. We should be coming up with better ways to give therapies that may be expensive but are going to work well for people. We're currently using new approaches for the treatment of lung cancer by doing sequencing of genes, including sequencing of genes that uh, make signaling proteins. On the surface of cancer cells are proteins such as the epidermal growth factor receptor, which drives tumor cell growth and also drives its survival. We can actually identify mutations in the gene that produces this protein and match these patients to pills that can cause strong remissions in their cancer. Moffitt's been participating in an NCI-directed program to do this type of sequencing on approximately 1,000 patients with adenocarcinoma of the lung, where we're looking at about 10 of these signaling proteins that have changes in their genetics, and we're working on matching them to appropriate drugs. This is very exciting and is really the future of personalized medicine. But we have a long way to go. We realize cancers are complex. They can have many genetic changes, and we have to form new combinations of treatments to cure patients with lung cancer. This includes multiple forms of pill type treatment or combining pill treatments with drugs that enhance the immune effect and can engage the immune system to help kill tumor cells. In some cases we still rely on chemotherapy which has worked well for some patients but we personalize this chemotherapy and select patients based on the genetics.